I'm sharing this video with y'all to show our crazy trip to the North Pole. So to start our trip, we flew over to Helsinki, Finland. Um, Helsinki, Finland, our tour guide told us, loves Pepsi. It's huge there. Uh, we visited this church in Helsinki, which was absolutely beautiful. It had real gold inside. And um, yeah, it was amazing to see in person. The pictures really don't do it justice. Um, that looked like a starry night and it was just so beautiful. Helsinki was filled with beautiful buildings, but you know what else it has that was interesting? Reindeer. Our tour guide told us that reindeer is a very big thing there, and yeah, they have a lot of reindeer there. Who would have thought, right? So this statue was really interesting. Our tour guide told us there was a war, and those holes are from that war. And still there to this day. Um, Helsinki, Finland is very huge on their art. They love and appreciate art so much. And um, this was just in the middle of a park. So I thought it was pretty awesome and beautiful. And um, there's so many other pieces of art like this one. And this one was actually by the hotel we were staying at. This is um, the Rock Church, which I thought was interesting. Helsinki has a lot of granite. Um, Finland has granite and they're also known for tar. And so this church was made out of a granite rock that was like blown into pieces. I thought that was pretty amazing. Our tour guide told us that the people of Finland love the ocean so much that you can see them washing their rugs and other household items in ocean water so it stays smelling in their home like ocean. They also enjoy their history, so they have an island dedicated to housing historical buildings. Finland has had a couple of fires where they've lost a lot of their historical buildings so once buildings get of a certain age they take them to this island um, that is of course surrounded by water because it's an island and so it um, helps to save their buildings in case there is another um, fire later in their you know history so I thought that that was pretty cool they also this is their um musical instrument and um they are famous for making boats over there everybody over there rides bikes which i thought was amazing you see bikes everywhere um the food was awesome and fresh right off the boat all of the vegetables and fruits were the sweetest that i've ever tasted in my entire life like it everything was so delicious um they, I, I really fell in love with not just the place, but the people and the food, except for this. This is their dessert, and I don't really want to eat fish for dessert, <laughs> but their flowers are beautiful. Um, Everything over there was just absolutely breathtaking. I wish I could move there, but they do have very harsh winters. So after we left Finland, we went to Russia, which was interesting. Um, We weren't supposed to take pictures. This guy was like really like adamant about that but I snuck some in and this was an odd sight we saw this lady riding across on a horse apparently everybody has horses there you could see one there in the park it was kind of odd so there were quite a few interesting things in Russia um, their churches were beautiful pretty much anywhere that I've been in the world they've had really pretty churches so that was pretty cool um, they also had like um, really nice like for instance this is a lighthouse that was beautiful also this monument of a lone soldier I thought was beautiful not just because of what it represents but there is an eternal flame that burns at the foot of the soldier in memory of you know the soldiers that had passed and stuff um, but since Finland people are love history so much and they appreciate it um, they have this place 
a lot of people go to, for their weddings. And so I thought that that was really cool. Um, they honor their history as a part of their weddings there. Um, and they also do this cool thing with these locks. They lock it onto the gate at the historical monument to symbolize their forever love. So I thought that was really romantic and cool. Uh, we visited their ships there, which they are very proud of. The Russians, um, have some of the only nuclear powered ships in the world. Um, even the icebreaker ship that we went on for our trip um, to the North Pole was nuclear powered. Um, so they gave us a tour of this one, which was quite interesting. It was a little bit eerie, but you know, what can you do? Um, that's actually the boat that we went on the, uh, well, the icebreaker ship. Um, we boarded it and this is our view. I snapped some pictures and then we took off and we left Russia to voyage to the North Pole. One of the first animal sightings that we saw were these whales. Um, I forget the name of them, but again, Google search it. They don't have a dorsal fin. That's all I remember. But um, the sights on the way to the North Pole were absolutely breathtaking. Um, this photo I took where the light met the dark. So after a while, once we were in the North Pole, it was always light out. Even if it was two o'clock in the morning, it was light. It was really, really cool. And um, it was just beautiful. So you, the darker that it would get, you would kind of get this going on, like a twilight type of a thing. Um, my daughter was looking because it started to snow. You could see her little head there. Um, and that helicopter, we got to take a ride to look um, at our ship from a helicopter's point of view. So we all got on. That was our pilot. And um, the kids really, really like this part. That's my kids right there, Gina and Big Head. And Selena, you can see right there with the little panda hat on. And it was really cool. And this is how it looked from the helicopter. So that was our, our ship, the icebreaker ship that we were on. So it was really, really cool to be able to see that from there. Um, a really, really nice experience. So yeah. Our staff was really, really fun, um, very sweet, and so helpful with anything that we needed. They were amazing, and we had a great time. The ice in the north, well, heading toward the North Pole, looked absolutely beautiful. Um, that's actually how it looked in real life, like it was just gorgeous. I would sit at my window and stare at it for hours because it was that beautiful. And um, here, you can see polar bear tracks. So we were on the lookout, and there's one of them. It was pretty cool. So you can see a better shot right there of the polar bears. They were actually really scared of the icebreaker ship because you can imagine how huge the icebreaker ship looked to these polar bears, and they probably aren't used to seeing it. So they were like, what the heck is that? So we would have to get our shots really, really quick because they would start to run away really fast. After my daughter saw that, she was constantly looking for polar bears at the North Pole. This is where we reached true 90 degrees at the North Pole. It was a huge announcement over the intercom. We had finally made our voyage and uh, we all got to get off to go and look at the actual true North Pole, which is marked right there. And the beautiful thing about this trip was that at the North Pole, we all joined hands. This is where we started to gather. And once we were in a circle, that's us right there. That's me. Once we were in a circle, we walked all the way around. And so the guide said it's really cool because once we rocked 90 degrees on the um, North Pole, we walked all around the world. So that was an amazing, mind blowing concept. There I am again saying hi. Hey, guys. I also did the polar plunge, which was absolutely freezing. That's me. And yeah. And there's some more polar bears. That was a mom and her cubs. They had just got finished eating um, a seal or something. And um, yeah, these are just some more breathtaking shots of the North Pole. And that's me looking for more polar bears and animals of any kind because it was interesting. And that's us on a raft. We were heading over 
to Friends Joseph Land, which was nearby. And that's us on Friends Joseph um, Island, which was cool. We got to explore that. And that is about it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye-bye.